it's always a fun kind of last end of the season race here at Nationals and uh, this happened to be one of the better years as far as uh, getting everyone out with it being here in Ontario. So getting to race the old guys in the club like Reed Cool Sat, a lot of fun and uh, having them, you know, on your team and, uh, and running with them is just great. You never know what you're going to get. It's really just a battle of who's the toughest, which I like. And uh, it brings girls from different events, like, like Sasha Golish and me. We'll never race each other except for cross country. And um, it's just really fun. And it's, you know, there's no, no splits. Time doesn't matter. You just go out there and you run as hard as you can. And um, I just really love it. It's great. Stack field, I've raced all those guys before, so really just trying to be the most comfortable up until the last K and be able to, to make the move to win it. I knew it was going to take a huge move. You got fast guys on the track, you got guys who want to push from two and a half, three K out, marathoners, stuff like that. So really just knowing I had to be there with 500 to go and just trying to stay relaxed, uh, bridge any move that ever happened and, and, and be there to do what I did. So uh, really just kind of played out how I wanted to exactly the whole race, which allowed me to do something uh, pretty spectacular at the end and hopefully it did surprise a few people out there and hopefully now they know I can do stuff like that and uh, we'll watch out for me next time. Uh, around 4k I was feeling really strong and I thought maybe I'll just make a break for it now so I tried to push a little bit through there and I did but then I didn't push hard enough and they caught me with 2k to go. I was kind of thinking it was over for me and okay third will be okay and then um, with one day to go, I realized that Rachel Hanna was looking a little, a little tired and I could feel, could feel her energy and I could feel like I could maybe catch her. And so I started to push a little harder and with 500 to go, I was like, okay, you can do this, let's go. And um, going up that last hill, I guess, was like, was it like 300 to go. Um, I had a friend yell at me, you need to go now. And it just like went off in my head and I hammered it. I can't believe I had so much left. I never finish and feel like I'm going to lap and I like had to have people hold me up. I just was spent. Like I gave it everything. So I'm not gonna lie, summer was normal. Felt like I was still on the team and then you know fall hits and you're not on the team and uh, you know, motivation's low in September. It's really just about trying to, you know, focus up for long-term goals like the summer uh, and stay consistent. So uh, like, I was lucky to have a big group of guys training, uh, guys to get me off the couch and uh, really just, you know, put together a good uh, back end of October and November to lead to this. So I'm happy I could, uh, you know, get fit and run this well in the fall and, and moving forward, it looks good and promising for the summer. So uh, a bit of a struggle, but obviously worked out really well off the back end and uh, having a big group help.